Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are going to be testing out the new Dominator's Drip skill plate on a number of people. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Seven people. Um, so, quick little disclaimer before we get started. The plate is not mine. I borrowed it for the preview purposes. Um, and all of the superstars that I'll be using in this video are mine. Um, so there may be some hollow stars. Not all of them are max level. Some of them aren't even five star gold. So damage output will vary depending on what level you have them at. And you possibly have better trainers and coaches than I do. Um, this is not going to be a free to play friendly video. I apologize, but we're trying to go for max damage potential here. Um, so we're going to start with Hall of Fame China. And we're going to run the double black with the finisher. So the finisher is a pedigree that makes 16 random gems into black gems. It would be 17 if I leveled it up, but I need that TP elsewhere. Uh, black won the handspring back elbow, which makes all black gems into traps. If broken by your opponent, steal two black MP. If broken by you, increase your black gem damage by 30% for four turns. And the DDT, which is a choose purple... So we're going to use Alundra because in testing I found I didn't have nearly as many black gems on the board as I would have liked. Um, so we'll use Alundra for the 50% increased chance and the plus two on a match. Uh, Dude Love for an extra black gem and 35% more damage to black gems. Hall of Fame Bree for two more gems. And uh, Santa Hogan just for another flat 2200. Will point out that I have a 50% gem damage strap for Hall of Fame China. Sorry, not sorry. She's kind of my world. Um, yeah. There it is. Uh, full Fury. Purple Percent. And then the plate, which is whenever you activate a black move, make seven random gems into multiply gems of strength seven. So first up, Hall of Fame China. Easily one of the best intros in the game. Don't at me. So, we need a black match and we got it. So, we'll put out... Oh, right. That move. That looks cool. We'll put out our traps. And what I'm actually going to do is take another swipe. We don't have a bunch of black gems on the board, so let's just let her do her thing. Maybe she'll clear some stuff up. Or she'll do that. That works too. Uh, we got three stacks on it, so 37. Let's do this again. Whee! Then choose six to make into purple. I want to break those traps. And let's do that. That time seven shouldn't move the pin bar a bunch. Oh, it did. Never mind. <laughs> Take that match. Thank you! Alright. So letting her go ahead and hit her moves maybe wasn't the best idea, but... You also want to... She keeps pinning us too, but you want to stack as much damage as possible. Got times eight for two turns, so about 500k on this. I don't want to override this, so let's just go ahead and hit the finisher. 
basically cover the board in multiply gems and then hope that the random black lands on them. Not much of a, of a cascade, but 2.65 mil. We'll run this one back just a little quicker. We won't wait around. We'll just take our black match, hit our moves, go from there. But that's with a stacking attempt. You do need a little bit of luck. But everyone uses the double red with the stun. This certainly gives this moveset some viability. So let's test this out one more time. I'm not really a fan of cards that turn into a one-trick pony, so being able to run her an alternate way as a China fan makes me super happy. And lo and behold, there is no black match. Wow, who could have guessed? Um, whatever. Plenty of... Was that there the whole time? Was that there the whole time? Don't answer that. Whatever. Whatever. There we go. Okay. Let's do that. We'll just pretend that never happened. Let's do that. We only need one purple match. So... Let's do that. But I really want to get these traps broken. At least give us some kind of base. So, 43, 303, hit the finisher. Makes the noise. There you go. Why wait around when you can do, you know, about 5 mil? So that is a candidate for the Dominator's Drip Plate. Let's go look at another female option. Second person we're going to test it out is Liv Morgan. Um, she came out and I was a big fan of the double black build because if you know anything about me, I used Slick Rick for everything back in the day. Um, so this style of gameplay is right up my alley. Thoroughly enjoy it. But we're going to use um, double black and then we're just going to toss the reversal in there because why not? Uh, so choose six gems to make into blue gems and then make all blue gems into multiply gems of strength five. Entourage is Woods to get going on turn one, NXT Seth for more blue gems, and then Hall of Fame Snoop and Hall of Fame China for 20% uh, extra blue gem damage from each. My queendom for Hall of Fame Sting. I know I've said it before. And um, the belt. The medals are a little rough. I do have the important one, which is the 30%. I don't know if the Dominator plate will be better than the Pyro Princess plate with this build. I don't know if it's going to override or not. Um, but I also am still searching for a better belt for her. I have a 20% move damage from when I was running the green build with the Sheik plate. I have since switched now that she is 5 star gold. Uh, but that would certainly make a difference. And she does have a hollow star. So the damage output might not be as optimal. She's max level. But we have a hollow star and a crap belt. <laughs> so let's uh, let's see if this works. All right, decent. Hmm. No, we can make this work. We just got to go bottom up. Uh, so choose 10 to make into blue gems. Normally I'd like to go, you know, from the bottom and go up because if you go from the top and go down, you risk um, dropping in another blue. And then you could 
wild card instead of destroy it to get the extra gem. But yeah, that'll work. Ooh! Those landed nice. The question is, is this going to override it? I think it is. Womp womp. Okay, so that kind of sucks. But we have the multiply gems in, like, a round at least. Like, we'll recharge our blacks with this. And we're going to crack this on open. And we're going to hit that on a loot box. So this could very well work. terrible not terrible i think the pyro princess plate is the way to go probably would not waste this plate on live if i had it as an option but worth seeing if it was worth a go or not and that's why they call it a test video because we've got to try things out um that is it for the ladies let's take a look at some of the men what's his name snoop Doggy dog. Uh, this is going to be the third test. And full disclosure, I don't have a belt for him. So this is my preview strap. Nothing special. Just a 5% um, gem damage buff. We got full fury. We got the ever important 30%. We got the dominator plate. And I do want to point out I have one gear, but not two. If you have both gears this could be a problem uh, because the build we're going to run didn't really need a plate beforehand. Not that it needs one at all, but holy heck will this benefit. So we're going to run the double black pyro build. Um, so the Snoop Spear, which is a choose a three by two to swap to black. Dogfather drop makes the bottom row into pyro that turns everything above it into green when broken by you and then drop it like a top, which is choose one row to destroy. And because I have one of the gears, I can hit this move at the beginning and then we can fill up this move and then we can hit this move get two sets of multiplies out and then hit this again um so it should be fairly strong we're gonna go with steel for the extra um green mp actually is there green and black is that hall of fame ted is that hall of fame ted ah uh, it's the, it's inverse Never mind. Um, so steel for green MP, tech booker for 35% more green gem damage, and then showboat lacy and hall of fame China for extra green gem damage as well. So that puts it about 17k. Uh, like I said, the one set of gear for the MP boost, and I feel like this could be a problem. So we need three black gems, and there isn't a row with that. So I'm just going to hit this, but I'm not going to destroy anything. Nope. Not today. And it didn't go where I wanted to put that. Excellent. Put that there. Not going to cascade. Thank you. And then Dogfather Drop, which is going to go along the bottom row. Didn't override this Multiply Gem, important to note. Uh, 23,000 on the greens, 165 with the Multiply. And basically everything except this row is going to get destroyed. <laughs> He's like, sorry bro, gotta hit you. And a Wicked Cascade on top of it. So three mil. And imagine having the second gear. That's going to be gross. All right. Next 
contender, come on down. Next up is Showboat Lex. And when the feud perks changed, a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, lamented about taking their Lex up to five-star gold and then being like, well, I can't use the sub anymore, so I guess he sucks. Her -der -der. That's my impression of people that complain. It's really good. Um, but let's not forget that he's got a 4 MP move that boosts his primary color by 175% for three turns. So we're going to try this plate on him and see if we can get him to hit. Now, granted, I was one of those people that ran him full vitality with an escape artist. I've had to switch over to Fury. I have an ultimate belt that I want to work on for him. Haven't done it yet. But we are going to run double black with the military press slam. So the scoop power slam increases our yellow gem damage by, like I said, 175% for three turns. Military Press Slam chooses a 2 by 3 Aria to make into Cross Break Gems, and the Delayed Vertical Suplex chooses gems to make into Yellow. So the build we're going to do. Woods for Black MP, Dolph for more Yellow Gems, my lowly Striker Brawn, who I keep saying I'm going to work on and never get around to it, um, for 5%. You know, every number counts. And uh, 2200 flat from Santa Hogan. Full Fury went for the yellow gem substats, but again, the belt is eh. Uh, we have the plate. I do have a hollow star. He's not maxed out on levels, so like I said, the gem damage could be a little higher if I max things out, but I'm not doing that for a preview. So let's see if we can make him useful. I'm sure we can. By the power of Red Skull, or whatever he looks like. Okay. So... Alright, we're gonna double stack, baby. Boop! And we'll do that, and we'll take a black match, so we can do it again. So, 41,000. Boop! 67,000 with a times 7 is a lot. And then a 2 by 3 Aria to make into cross breaks. I really don't want to cover that up. I don't have to. I know how numbers work. And then 10 to make into yellow. So the cross breaks are going to go brrr. Give ourselves a three match. And then cover up the multiply gems that we're going to break. Which is a fair bit of them. Let's go. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Now, I don't know if I would do that over the baddest jacket plate with the sub build and the X breaks, but that is certainly an option. Certainly an option. See, I can make anybody good. Speaking of I can make anybody good, let's check out contestant number five. Now, I think we can all agree that this guy is slow as molasses now, but there have been a few skill plates that have come out that speed him up. Um, most notably, the um, Dead Man's Sigil plate, which throws out a bunch of X breaks, helps him a lot quicker. Um, but I figure if we're going to be spamming a no pin bar move with 
some black moves thrown in, it could probably make him viable. Now, keep in mind, he's only five silver. He's missing 30 levels. I do have full stars. Um, but we're going to be punching up, so it might take a while. But we are going to do the groin kick, which makes one gem into black. The pin bar does not move. We're going to run that alongside the bleed and the sledge body shot, which destroys five random red gems. Butch for more red MP, Titus and Bree for more black gems, and we're using Hollywood Ulk Ogan um, just because we're going to need a little bit of help probably to load everything up. And by that I mean the red moves because i trying to avoid hitting that if I can take red matches, but we shall see. Full Fury with the Drip. Okay. Gonna do that, because we could probably drop a match there. And we'll do that. Hooray! Nice. Okay, so... 83k. Not bad at all. Um, we will take a swipe. Because we have the wild card. And then these multiply gems that they land on red. That's money. We can just destroy that. Reload the red move again. And we still have another one there, which is sweet. Now this would obviously be a lot stronger if he was 5 star gold, but the move, the gem damage is okay. Doing about half a mil. So it won't be nearly as long. This one will be nice too because we can hit up these multiply gems, crack that, get that, and let's just cover up the ones that we already have. Hit the bleed again. Womp womp. One, two, three, four. Oh, but that'll drop there. Mm, okay. Never mind. Um. Might not be too good. I think it's safe to do this now? Maybe? Maybe? Yay! We did it! Look at us. Look at us. Who would have thought? But now we have no red gems, so. Prayers up. Nice. Nice. Put a multiply gem there. Not nice. But, uh, hey, let's do that. Oh yeah, and he's bleeding. Ha 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 ha. That was very lucky. Uh, but that was a five silver. Going through a five star gold definitely helps speed him up. Again, 
I mean, if you're someone that still uses him, if he's your best striker, by all means, that's an option. By all means, that is an option. All right. Five down, two to go. Number six is uh, Mr. Striker Orton, the Apex Predator. Again, he's mine. I have not worked on him the way I wanted to. I keep, again, like Braun, I keep telling myself I'm going to do it, and then I get distracted, and I completely forget, and then I go to use him for something, and I'm like, oh, that's right, I have this guy and his Christmas sweater. Why haven't I worked on him? Womp womp. Anyways, we're going to test this out on him. He's only five bronze, but... But... Um, we're going to do triple black. So the finisher that destroys random black, the standing drop kick that is a choose to make power gems, and uh, the neck breaker, which is black three. As you can tell, I have not worked on him since I took him five bronze because this is a level one move. Uh, but it makes five random gems into black gems. The sweater gives us an extra four. So that'll make nine. Entourage for this. Striker Woods for the black MP. Dude Love for the extra black gem and some more black gem damage. Santa Hogan for flat gem damage to all the colors. And Riddle for a black gem and some more power gem strength. Um, I'm getting low on metal bits, y'all. So I'm just going to keep him as armor like I had him before. Toss on this plate. Should be... Should be pretty strong um, with the multiply gems and the power gems going out. And we're going to go against the five silver. So it's not going to be a massive health pool to try to cut through. But I think he can punch up with this. So let's let's see. Looks like he's not wearing pants at all. Where are your pants, Randy? Anyways, 11 random into black gems, which will probably cascade into a pin. What? That never happens. Save the date, September 16th, 2022. We did not cascade. And we're getting a decent number of uh, multiplies here. We're going to destroy how many? Nine. Womp. Did it take any of the multiply gems? No. But... Power gems, a shitload of multiply gems for this black move to be spammed again. So, definitely. Definitely an option. Man, I gotta work on him. Somebody hold me accountable. I need to work on my Orton. All right. Seventh and final test. Lucky number seven. I wonder who it could possibly be. Was there ever a doubt? Was there ever a doubt? Mr. Passion Project right here. I haven't been able to level that up yet, but it doesn't give me an extra blue gem. But we are going to test this bad boy on Mr. Rob Van Dam. Mr. Pay-Per-View. Uh, the super kick is the six star move. Which is what got me super, super hyped to build him, because that means I can use the Pyro Princess Plate and boost his Blue Jam damage up the wazoo. And as you can see, we are at uh, 15k base. I need to fill a star. It's not going to happen for a long time. But it's going to put us at like 17k base for our Blue Gems. So, gonna be nutty. But the finisher and black one with black three. So the finisher just is a choose destroy multiply. The rolling thunder sent on choose to make into blue. And the super kick 
which to choose blue gems to modify into multiply gems of strength three. Um, now, I have tested this build, not with this plate, but I've tested the build before, and Sin Cara does work. It's a visual glitch as it, it doesn't show, but it will make it a choose seven blue gems to modify. So we're going to use him for four more multiply gems plus an extra blue gem, uh, Striker Woods to get going on turn one, and then blue gem damage from Hall of Fame China and Hall of Fame Snoop. Uh, belts. I have a 20% gem damage, full fury. I have really nice blue gem um, metals. So him and Liv get the pyro plate and the blue belt for like everything. But uh, six star Rob Van Dam gameplay, folks. You are seeing it here first. There are no six star road opponents. So I'll go against a five gold powerhouse. And, uh, yeah, he's the whole fucking show for a reason. Rob Van Dam. That's right. The Rob Van Man, am I right? I'm going to take a swipe. In hopes of getting some more blue gems, and it worked. So, choose seven to make into blue. We only need two, three matches. And let's cover up his primary color, shall we? Nice, and some of those landed on blacks. Excellent. Super kick to the face. Cover that one too. Damn it. Okay, so times three. Times seven. Five star frog splash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's not the best plate on him, but it's a plate. I would use the Pyro Princess plate over it, but I had to try it. It's Rob Van Dam. I have him six star. We had to give it a go. All right. Seven people tested. Seven different results. Let's do a quick recap. All right, so that concludes the playthrough part of this video. Again. We took seven different people, tested out the Dominator's Drip skill plate. Whenever you activate a black move, make seven random gems into multiply gems of strength seven. And now I'm not a fan of tier lists, so this is merely my opinion on who I think benefited the most out of the seven people we tested. So the least beneficial, I thought, was Liv Morgan. Um, I don't see anybody using that plate over the Pyro Princess plate, um, turning all of her gems into blue gems, uh, like all of her blue gems into multiply gems of strength five. It does override the plate. Um, so that's unfortunate. Didn't work as well as I would have hoped. Um, sixth place hurts me to say it, but I wouldn't use that plate on Rob Van Dam either. For similar reasons, I think the Pyro Princess plate works better on him as well. In fifth, Zombie Triple H. It does speed him up. Um, I feel like if he's your main striker, it's definitely an option. But he's still very slow in today's game. Granted, he won't lose. Um, and they've changed Feud to go away from turn one wins, but it's still going to take a little bit longer than I would personally be comfortable with. In fourth, Randy Orton. Um, there's also fear of the plate overriding his power gems, but that triple black moveset, 
again, I showed him at five star bronze. Maybe I would have put him a little higher if I had him five gold and saw that damage potential. But for five star bronze with that plate, he took out a five silver, no problem. He didn't destroy any of his multiply gems because it's all random. Um, so that's probably why he's only fourth. In third, Hall of Fame China. Um, love seeing a card get um, revitalized, essentially. A lot of people were saying, you know, everyone does the same thing with Hall of Fame China, two red moves and a stun. And then Goat Becky came along and everyone's like, well, she's the better feuding trickster now. Um, this definitely puts Hall of Fame China back into that discussion, I think, personally, um, with her and Goat Becky. If you run her in a feud with this plate, uh, there will be hell to pay. In second... And um, my personal favorite, because I use him all the time, Showboat Lex. Um, again, I haven't tested out the uh, baddest jacket with the sub and the X breaks, but he boosts his primary color by 175% for three turns at five star gold. So you blow up the board and you choose the yellow gems to go over the multiply gems and it's big damage, big boom, recycling by blowing up the board. I am a big fan. But the clear and obvious winner for me is Hall of Fame Snoop. Merricks, what's his name? Snoop Doggy Dog. Um, and the reason I have him above Showboat Lex is because if you have both of Hall of Fame Snoop's gears, not only do you get the plus two MP, but you get 100% more damage to his green gems. And in terms of needing the plate, um, you're not taking anything away from Snoop using the Dominator's Drip plate with his Pyro build because the Pyro build didn't really have a plate that worked well with it anyways. I mean, Cheap Shot, Two Words For You, Chaotic Blast, Blue Bomber, those would have been fine. But in terms of recycling, there's no green to black. So this, putting Multiply Gems out and then covering them with his green gem, which is his primary. And again, you have that second gear. And he's going to hit like a truck, and he's a Hall of Famer, so he gets that 10% gem damage as well. Um, but I think... Other than Bobby Lashley himself, um, the clear winner for me amongst these seven is Hall of Fame Snoop, followed up by Showboat Lex and Hall of Fame China. I would, again, like to reiterate, I only tested the people I had um, at a somewhat high level, so I didn't get a chance to test it on Dusty. I didn't get a chance to test it on AFA. I didn't get a chance to test it on Boss Man. Because you always have to test it on Boss Man. Um, didn't have a chance to test it on Drade. He could be a good one too. Um, so this is by all, by no means is it an all-inclusive list. This is just who I wanted to see who it would work on because it's who I had on my roster. Very curious to know your thoughts. Um, let me know in the comments who you think this plate would be good on. Maybe I can make it work in terms of a video. If I have to borrow someone, I'll try. I make no promises, but if you make a compelling argument in the comments, I may, I may be inclined. But uh, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Been a hot minute since I did a skill plate test, so um, thoroughly enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed watching it as well. And uh, thank you for being a friend. See you in the next video.